so far. So this car um, was broken down vehicle and then um, hard to start. Most of the time would not start. We reset the timing with a new timing belt uh, set. However, we are back to square one. Now here is a Volvo XC90, um, two liter diesel engine. It's something that have, we have not came across so far. So this car um, was broken down vehicle and then um, hard to start. Most of the time would not start. However, when it was um, starting, uh, it wouldn't accelerate. It was running, um, running quite okay, up to a point where we got it in a workshop. It was also noisy on the, on the cranking. What we've noticed um, initially was the timing jumped. We thought this is only gonna be the issue. Uh, we reset the timing with a new timing belt uh, set. However, we are back to square one because now the car was cranking fine without any noise, but intermittent uh, was only intermittent starting. Again, no, uh, no revs on it, no faults. This makes everything more difficult. After reading data um, for the different sensor fuel pressure, we noticed an issue on the fuel pressure side where the pressure was fluctuating quite a lot, um, even on crank or uh, when we managed to get it running. So we noticed something is not uh, right in the fueling system. Now, going further, what we've done, we've done a leak-off test on the injectors, and we noticed the quantity that each injector is returning um, is fine, is within spec. We replaced the rail because on the rail, there's a fuel pressure regulator, which controls the pressure to eliminate that. Um, also, we've checked the pre-supply pressure, basically the uh, the fuel that comes from the tank towards the pump, uh, we checked that and it was also fine. And the only thing left, it was the high pressure fuel pump. Basically, this is the pump, this is the unit that builds up the pressure into the rail from which all the injectors are feeding uh, to inject the fuel in the system. So this is basically transform, gets fuel inside on low pressure and put it out um, to high pressure, something from around 300 bars to 1600, so massive, massive uh, pressure inside the pump. <coughs> so after we've done all those checks, the conclusion it was that it can only be the pump. Although this is not a common item on Volvo, we even checked with the um, sales on Volvo, they said they hardly sold any. And this is a massive question mark, how come? Um, and what could have done wrong? Could have gone wrong in it. Now, when we stripped it, on the outside it looks all good. However, when we remove the sprockets, and also an important thing, this pump is timed. So it has to be in sync with the crankshaft and the camshaft uh, in order for the engine to run. And what do you notice when we remove the sprocket? Here, on the shaft, it has like a pin uh, that action as a withdraw key. See, it's, um, the pin is, is completely gone. Have a look on the new pump. So see, it has to stand a bit out from the shaft in order to act as a withdraw key because on this sprocket, there's a channel where it should lock into it. And whenever it's tight, it's gonna be secure in that position. But look what happened on this one. So it's kind of turned. Now, um, the sprocket was not loose and this is a very strange, imagine um, the force inside the pump. Um, so saw hum he managed to overcome um, the fact that he was tight um, and then also that he had a pin actioning like a withdraw key and put a pump out of position. Obviously we have timed it when we put a new belt, but the timing was incorrect because um, the sprocket was not in the right position um, in accordance to the shaft. So this was the problem uh, that we have never seen before. Uh, I'm not sure how common it is. Now we're obviously gonna replace the pump we have to put a new sprocket. See, very important. See from here it doesn't, it can't move left to right and when it's tight, it should be solid in there. Um, first time when it came to, across to a, a problem like that, on the two liter Volvo engine, that makes the car not running, not starting most of the time. And whenever it starts, no acceleration and no fault code. Stay close for more videos about car repairs in general. See you next time.
If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe and keep close.